Hello Internet! This uh, video today. Today, quite a few things are happening today. First of all, there is a 183 coming in one minute. But it's actually not coming in one minute. So, <laughs> the destination board is not updated for whatever reason. Uh, also, I'm just now going to the depot to hand out my resignation from the company. And I will continue this video once I am inside the bus heading towards the depot. But yeah, the, now we're the 183, it just came. And you can see like how inefficient you know, the front window, the ventilation is. It's just having trouble keeping up with steam and keeping the windows clean and the drivers of the 180, not just 180, all the electric buses have to keep up and be aware of that they cannot see the side their blind spot because that's where the front door is, not their blind spot and they can barely see to that blind spot and because I made a comment on my video about that because of that comment on that video, the company said that this is doing damage to the company and it's actually not doing any damage to the company it, it's just an issue with the buses, it's a safety issue with all the electric double deckers the, that are the BYD done by Alexander Denis 400 EV all of them have very inadequate ventilation so as you can see there is steam at the blind spot of the driver so he cannot see there when he's turning if there is a pedestrian crossing at a pedestrian crossing as well he cannot see so, <coughs> let's go towards the back of the bus all the windows are steamed because those buses they have very insufficient ventilation even the back of the bus as well the front as well at the front at the front you will notice there is steam vents those those vents they are meant for air but there is actually no air coming through those vents so they are purely for decoration that's why the front window on the second floor is always steamy and it's it just very poorly designed buses they, they have they have the, capa the capabilities but those capabilities are disabled or not installed or I don't know what happened actually during manufacturing maybe they were saving costs but yeah it's the driver blind spot it's always steamed no matter what it's not the driver's fault it's not the company's fault it's the manufacturer's fault that actually is not fixing that issue of the buses so anyway now I'm going towards the depot to hand out my resignation because yesterday I finished my shift at 10.30 at night yesterday and today I was supposed to start at 7.30 and be on a bus so you tell me how safe is for a driver to have less than 8 hours sleep and drive a bus with hundreds of people inside that bus and the legislation for the bus drivers is you can have a minimum of 10 hours break between your shifts uh, the bus drivers they follow different legislation I will speak in future video about that legislation but for now let me just give you a view of the what's happening actually so you guys can see some of the road as well um, there is different legislation and when I was speaking with the location they told me you can actually shorter that 10 hours to a nine and a half hours and nine and a half hours is not enough for a driver to have adequate rest because you're dealing with passengers you're dealing with traffic all day you're dealing with traffic jams and you're having emergency situations you're just having too much on your head then nine hours when you go home those nine hours you cannot shower you cannot even relax you cannot even fall asleep that fast like yeah some people can go to sleep fast but most of the drivers they complain about fatigue 
and eat up fatigue is actually a very very <coughs> common complaint between bus drivers and the TFL is just not re acknowledging what they are doing to help the fatigue in drivers and make the bus the London buses safe and so the drivers are properly rested and not fatigued but there is a shortage of drivers and the shortage of drivers is as you can see even me I'm a bus driver I have been bus driver for almost two years now and I'm now quitting this is my last job as a bus driver so I am not coming back to this industry and it's the sad reality like even me when I raised that issue with the steamy blind spot on that video when I made that comment you have to choose between staying warm or having a visibility even if you use the proper visibility settings even then your blind spot as a driver is not always properly demisted so what they recommend is you going there manually using a paper towel to clean up that that fog that is on that blind spot on that front door but unfortunately it, that fog is gonna come by the next bus stop so every bus stop you literally have to go out if you are following their guidelines so th that's why it's not viable you have to either drive or just clean the windows and honestly you're a driver you're not a window cleaner to clean throughout the whole journey your windows so that's why they asked me to delete all of my videos on my One channel because three. they told me Two. that's defamation that against three. the company essentially they said that raising a safety issue on the bus that's defamation against the company so it's the most stupid thing like you can hear of somebody it's instead of fixing the issue they try to cover it up so nobody knows about it and there is just too much stupidity anyway now i am at the depot and i will hand out my resignation i will continue this video after i hand out my resignation so see you in a bit guys okay hello i just handed out my resignation to the company so my resignation is now officially in i will just wait a few a few days maybe two weeks and by the middle of the week i will start uploading some videos so you guys will see that video now is the beginning of the month so you will see it around the middle of the month because the company i don't want the company to come after me about me saying that that they feel that i am doing defamation against them so this video now yesterday yesterday i had a accident but it's not a really accident it was a person that was doing the obvious stuff being ignorant and uninformed and acting like a child and inside the bus so now that was literal bit after kingsbury when they're coming towards harrow so i will now go to that bus stop and explain the whole story that happened to me yesterday which is also part of my re why i resigned today um, hello internet this is the second part of this video maybe the third part i don't know so now this is a bus stop i was yesterday at it's kenton Charlton road so <coughs> at this bus stop yesterday i was driving the 183 towards harrow so at this bus stop there is um at this stop the bus to let the passengers <coughs> out of the bus so as i'm letting the passengers out of the bus two people go out of the bus and i can hear a third person running from upstairs so i just waited with the doors open so that person can go out then i wait a few more seconds because the traffic light was red <coughs> and i checked the camera i checked the mirror and there was no movement nobody was going towards the exit 
So I close the exit. I close the exit door. I close the front door. And I'm departing from that bus stop here. <coughs> the traffic light goes green. And as the traffic light goes green, I'm departing with the bus. So now I'm already in traffic and the bus is moving. There were parked cars on the left hand side over there after the traffic light. So, and as I'm passing the traffic light, I hear a woman shouting, Driver, driver, stop the bus, stop the bus, let us out, let us out. And I'm August, I cannot open the door because I'm in traffic, I'm in the middle of crossroad. And honestly, if you have missed your bus stop, just get off at the next bus stop and walk back. The next bus stop is literally around the corner. So it's like three minutes, four minutes walking. Or if it's too far away, you can take the next bus on the opposite direction. <coughs> so missing your bus stop is not a big deal. However, that woman, what she did was, because I didn't stop in the middle of the traffic lights, or the middle of the crossroad, she came to the driver front door. And as she came to the driver front door, she started knocking on the front door. So, <coughs> at this point, obviously, I'm not wearing a camera because management decided that me wearing a camera is actually is well, that's how we drive a train apparently so management decided that me wearing a camera is against the rules of the company because they said that I'm not allowed to be using electronic communication device which the body camera is not electronic communication device they told me yeah but you are speaking to the camera well guess what you have freedom of expression in the UK so <coughs> communicating with somebody implies that you are listening to what they are saying when you're that is distracting you because you are paying attention to what they are saying <coughs> so because of that they told me no you're not allowed. but when I'm speaking to the camera that's not me communicating with somebody that's me speaking my mind out so it's me speaking my mind out so I'm speaking my mind out that's freedom of expression because Okay, okay, anyone, anyone, anyone. Because other things that are on my mind anyway, and I'm not communicating to anyone, I'm speaking my mind out. <coughs> so, that's my freedom of expression, it's not communicating with a camera. You cannot communicate with inanimate objects that have no communication capabilities. Uh, GoPro 9 camera have no communication capabilities whatsoever, especially communicating with human in any way. Yeah, it have a voice commands, but I'm not using any of those voice commands, so I have not been communicating in any way with the camera. So what, what they said that I'm communicating with the camera and therefore I'm violating the company health and safety policy, that's bullshit. So anyway, yesterday, because I was not wearing a body camera, this is the next bus stop. So next bus stop is literally around the corner. So that woman comes to the front door and starts knocking on the window. Because I'm driving, I'm unable to answer to her. So I have to stay focused on the road. And apparently she didn't like the fact that I'm not paying attention to her and I'm paying attention to the road instead and driving obviously so what she did she removed the shoe from her foot so yeah she took the shoe off her foot and started banging on the driver cab window upon which <coughs> because that literally scared me like that distracted me and scared me and yeah I, I lost focus for no moment and but by the time I realized that she was using her shoe, uh, I missed that bus stop. 
unfortunately, so I did not stop there. So, she goes ballistic and the next bus stop is right over here. So between the two bus stops, that what that woman did, she went to the back door as the bus is moving, used the emergency door release and opened the back door. So now I am driving a bus, a bus that is moving with its back door open and all I can do is focus on getting that bus to the next bus stop stopping there safely and letting those passengers all off the bus and resolving the whole situation <coughs> but because of the woman banging on the driver door with her shoe obviously if there was no plastic screen there she will be banging with that shoe on me which is an assault so I was about to get assaulted yesterday if there was not that plastic screen to protect me and it's not honestly not good enough not good enough that protection that they have so what I did was I stopped the next bus stop I opened the doors and I did have the assault alarm as well on the bus so I opened the doors I stopped the assault alarm and I terminated the whole service because I needed a couple of minutes to regain my focus to regain my composure so I'm able to continue driving safely so obviously I had to terminate because those that woman and I don't mind other people, it's just the thing that I was not in a state of mind that is safe to continue driving after the events of what that woman did. <coughs> and when I went back to the garage, I did a, obviously a occurrence report and I also report that to the network management for the buses. I did a code blue and reported that there was improper use of the emergency door release on the bus as the bus was moving as well as the behavior of the passenger so it was antisocial so I did report that whole thing and I was waiting for to speak with my employer about the body camera and maybe they will be okay with it and I don't know but because they say it's breaking as I said, company rules, which is not actually. So I decided, you know what, those those people, they, they behave like it's ignorant, it's uninformed. And that's literally, you don't call the driver banging on the door because you miss your bus stop. If you miss your bus stop, that's on you, that's your problem, not driver's problem. And you can see in the other videos, but that I have similar situations where the drivers, the, me as a driver, had to deal with passengers that missed their bus stops. It's just the nature of the situation. And the thing is now there is a big shortage of drivers. And yeah, there is a big shortage of drivers, but they're managing still to keep the some service. Yeah, out of the services, are reduced services the TFL is reducing the services that they are running to account for the shortage of drivers <coughs> but even then there is still shortage of over 2000 bus drivers for London that information is available on the TFL side that's for the future video, I will do a whole video about the TFL and some of the things and their policies that they have in place. But yeah, because of that accident that I had at after Kingsbury with that woman knocking on the door with her shoe, I decided, you know what, I have to spend now half an hour writing occurrence report. I'm starting work tomorrow at 7.30 in the morning and now it's already past 10 and in, in the evening 10 past in the evening so I, I, I have less than 10 hours rest and 
by the time I finished writing that report, it was 10.30. So I had to start work at 7.30. So I spoke with the personal location and I informed them that there is a legal, it's a legal matter actually. You're required by a law to have a 10 hour gap as a bus driver between your shifts. So I, I informed them with that because I'm finishing 10.30. The next day, which is today, I have to. Uh, the earliest I'm able to start working is 8.30 in the morning. And he told me, okay, I will note that on the system. But today, at 7.36 in the morning, I received a call from a location. And they were asking me where I am. So apparently that person did not put any info on the system. When I told them that, they told me, oh, okay, he have noted that you have signed out yesterday at 10.30. And yeah, he have noted that I have signed out at 10.30. But obviously, if you know that I have signed out at 10.30, you know I have to have legally 10 hours, so break. So you cannot expect me to be there at 7.30. And I did not sleep well yesterday because of that woman and her behavior and it was a very ugly situation, a very unpleasant thing to deal with. It was not fair, she was very ignorant, uninformed and she was irrational. So, uh, when I spoke with, on the phone with the location, I, I told the recent guys because of what happened yesterday, the garage manager told me not to wear that body camera. However, because of the event yesterday, I will wear that body camera if I am to drive the buses. And uh, a location told me in that case, you have to resign from the company. So here I am, I resign from the company. And as I stated in my comment, this is the second bus company I work with. And it is the last bus company I work with. Um, for now, I have some plans for future videos. There, there is gonna be as well as a lot of uploads. Morning. I will be providing information Two. that future bus drivers, especially bus drivers in London, they need to know that information, that they all need to have that knowledge prior to starting working in the bus industry. Some of that information is uh, legal matters that bus drivers have to follow and they are exclusive to bus drivers. So no, 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 not to bus drivers, they are exclusive to the public sector, some of the workers in the public sector. And they work under different legislation. It's a legislation that is designed in a way that you can be abused, like the legislation state that the bus drivers can work up to 16 days before they have a day off. Which is one day off in 16 days, it's one day off per month. So if you want to have any life, you have to be aware of those things. And I will make a separate video with more details showing exactly the legislation so yeah I resigned from the company that's that we're at Harrow now it's raining and this is as well one of the steamy buses it is steamy all of them are steamy there is nothing you can do the front doors of every single of those EV400 buses are steaming. That's how it is. The driver's blind spot is actually <coughs> covered and not properly visible. So the drivers are then driving buses that have poor visibility of their blind spot. Which they obviously can account for. Now, I am not going to report, like, I'm not going to make a detailed video and show him because the bus driver, the bus companies, what they are gonna do is they will start going after the drivers. And they will, because they, they, 
official way is that the driver have to wipe the mirrors if it's there is not good visibility they have to wipe the doors or the windows if there is no good visibility but you cannot expect the driver that is going out every single bus stop wiping the windows and the mirrors it's unreasonable like you have to have that vehicle designed in a way that is actually functional in a British weather and in England obviously very often sometimes for days in a row it rains so when those vehicles are put on that road that have to be taken into account and it's not the driver's fault so if I start reporting that and they will start noting those drivers those drivers will start to be called to the office of the garage managers in the, those companies so I will not make, not make such a video because it, it's not the driver's fault so I, I don't want drivers to be in any trouble like those all of the drivers they are doing their best to get the passengers to safely to their bus stops to move them safely to ensure the safety of everyone outside and inside the bus those drivers all of them have families to feed so the last thing that I want for them is to be in trouble with their garage manager that is trying to cover the ass of their company for the bad decisions made and it's not the driver's fault, it's the company's fault, so that's why I will not make any more videos displaying the foggy blind spots of the buses, people can see them anyway. And this video, apparently my company have seen my previous comments, so obviously people in high positions do see those videos that I'm making, <coughs> they're aware of the issue, but they choose not to act on a health and safety matter with the buses so yeah unfortunately that's the situation the bus companies and the legislation that is there are a big issue but yeah thank you guys i will upload the rest of the videos in a couple of weeks but this video is just an update of what is happening with me I will work on some videos as well and there is gonna be a lot more videos coming I have plans about videos and I will take a rest from working for a few weeks maybe I will take this whole month off because I intend to do some agency work and in agency work you can work in time you want you don't need to take your holidays when you're doing agency work so I can take my holidays now and just spend the whole year working after that so I will see what I will do take care guys have a good one and stay safe